Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at three Linux distributions that are actually built for creative work. Like audio, video, 3D and photo stuff. If you have ever thought Linux was only for terminal wizards, stick around. These distros make it way easier to jump in and start creating. Let's go. All right, first up, Ubuntu Studio. If you're not sure where to start, this is a solid pick. It's built on Ubuntu, so you get all the wide hardware and driver support that comes with that ecosystem, which matters when you're hooking up audio interfaces or GPUs, what's included out of the box, popular apps like Kaden Live and OBS for video and streaming, Ardor for digital audio workstations, GIMP for image editing, Darktable for raw photo work, and Blender for 3D. Plus, there's an Ubuntu Studio audio configuration tool that makes tweaking buffer sizes and sample rates less painful which is huge if you do real-time audio work. Who it's for? Beginners and people who want a ready-to-go creative workstation without hunting down every app. Next, AV Linux. This one has its own vibe. It's very music production focused and ships some commercial level tools alongside open source ones. So yeah, you'll find things like Reaper and Harrison Mixbus available, which might surprise purists who expect only open source software on Linux performance-wise. AV Linux leans on a custom kernel, the Licorix kernel, to improve speed and reduce audio latency. It also includes utilities to help you run Windows audio plugins or software when you need them, which is handy if your workflow depends on a plugin that hasn't been ported to Linux. Who it's for? Musicians and audio producers who want lower latency and out of the box DAW options. Finally, Fedora Jam, the name kind of says it all. It's Fedora, but aimed at audio enthusiasts and musicians. It typically uses KDE instead of Fedora's default GNOME, and it bundles audio tools like Arda, Audacity, and Jack connectivity out of the box. Like Fedora itself, Jam tends to prefer open source software by default. So you won't see closed source apps pre-installed, but thanks to Flatpak and Fedora's packaging, you can usually add what you need fairly easily. And if you already like Fedora but prefer KDE or want the audio toolset, Fedora Jam gives you that curated collection without reinventing the wheel. Who it's for, folks who already like Fedora's ecosystem or musicians who want a lightweight, open source first audio setup. If you prefer a different desktop, you can install the Fedora Jam audio packages on any Fedora install. So you don't have to switch desktops to get the tools. If you want one pick, start with Ubuntu Studio. If you do a bit of everything, audio, video, photo, choose AV Linux if audio is your main thing and you want lower latency and commercial DAWs. Pick Fedora Jam if you love Fedora or want an open source first approach for music production. All right, hope that helps if you're looking to move your creative work onto Linux. Um, if you've tried any of these, drop a comment. Tell me what hardware you're using and which distro felt best for you. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more Linux and creative workflow stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.